and began to drive out the merchants and, and, and their customers. Now, before even going into what Jesus did, anything that he did or anything that he said, uh, I want you to pay close attention to the fact that uh, in verse 12, it says that Jesus came into. Jesus came into something. See, whenever Jesus comes into something, it, the, it, it's in, it uh, changes is in an... Uh, it is impossible to avoid. All right, all right. A uh, change is possible to prevent. All right. Whenever Jesus is present in something, change is just going to happen. Amen. That's why it's important to allow Jesus to come into our lives because yes, change is going to happen whether change whether you, you you expect it or not. Some yes. kind of change. Mm -hmm. If you're trusting in Jesus, if you're trusting in the Lord, some change is going to happen. Amen. Amen. It says the word temple the temple in the new testament with respect to the temple of jerusalem often referred to the entire precinct it was the entire sanctuary then just think of the entire building the balconies the court the the front yard the backyard the side of the yard uh, in contrast our body is the, the temple entirely Amen. from the top of my head to, to the soles of yeah. my yes, to my feet my eyes my ears my my nose my fingers my, my knees it, it's the temple of of the holy spirit now the other day, I, I noticed that it was a week, a couple weeks ago, my house, I, I was thinking about my house and and for an entire week it was real windy. An entire week and, and I had walked around my house and on the in the front of my house on the right hand side is a little corner and that's where we keep our garbage cans and as I, as I walked in front, I hadn't been over there in, in an entire week and I noticed that there was a whole bunch of trash just accumulate that had accumulated and there was a whole bunch of garbage that had uh, 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 piled up there and the funny thing about it was I don't even know where all this trash came come from on, come on. I, I, it didn't even come from uh, it, it may have been the kids it may not have been but there were things that had piled up in the wind had blew up into this corner uh -huh. that 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 I, I know it wasn't ours it, it blew from the streets and from the sidewalk and and from other neighbors house and 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 and, and that's that's just like Life. Come on, come on. When the wind blows, uh, uh, the, the devil wants to blow trash into come your on, life. Come on, come on. Right, right, right. Right. And it's funny that we have to be protect. We gotta protect ourselves of what we watch, right. our eyes, and what we look at, because Amen. what we watch get comes into the temple. That's what right. we hear and what we allow ourselves to listen to comes into the temple. What Amen. we what we say, what we drink, or what we smoke, or, or, or the, the cruel words that we may use. We allow that to, to come into our temple, and it eventually, uh, after some time, you'll, you'll notice that you, you're not praying anymore. You're not, you're not going to church anymore. You're not going to Bible study anymore. Um, uh, you're, not, you're not doing the things that kept you close to God because all of a sudden, you, you, you haven't been in the corner where all of this trash is building up, and, and all of a sudden, you found that there's a whole bunch of garbage, a whole bunch of mess on the inside that's keeping you and hindering your relationship with the Lord. Anybody here got a family member or a friend, the only reason they call is to start some mess to tell you the latest right. gossip, to tell you the latest Yeah, look, guess what I heard that was going on. Guess they're just starting some mess. We need to tell them to stop bringing me your yeah. trash. Yeah. 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 Nobody else garbage all in my life. Thank you, but no thank you. The crowd that we choose is important. I don't even I, I, um, I don't even ask when when people ask me how, how I'm doing, and you know as soon as you say how are you, you know there's gonna be something. I just say I oh God is good. I, I just change the whole. I don't even ask you how you how are you. I say oh, God is good. Isn't he amazing? I ask a question. Isn't he? You gonna you gonna you gonna get on my conversation level? I'm not gonna drop down to yours. See that's what happens when we sin. Uh, uh, um, um, it's like it's like piling up garbage all around us and all on the inside of us. But but we need to get rid of the garbage. See, Jesus is angry here, and and, and I just want a, a, a sidebar to let you know that the Bible says, "Be angry, but sin not." Yes, Jesus was angry, but he didn't sin. Some of us use this as well. Jesus was angry, but Jesus wasn't angry over a personal insult. It wasn't that they said, Jesus, your mama, and he got mad. It wasn't that kind of, 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 of reason that angered him. Jesus had the authority. And, and if, you, if you pay close attention, it was, in verse 12, it says, and Jesus went into the temple of God. It belonged to God. So he's like, oh, this, 
I'm not gonna let none of this happen in my daddy's house. All right, all right. And, and, and it's funny because my son has some has some friends that come over and he know the rules. And then we're in the backyard on the trampoline and, and his friends were coming over throwing trash and he said, Y'all better pick that up. My daddy don't play that. My daddy don't get it all. That's the same thing that we need. That's what the Holy Spirit is telling us today. The things that we have going on in our temple, the things that we think, the things that we say, uh, we, we need to be real careful because it will eventually pile up and be trash on the inside of us. Our pastor tells us that our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. I only have two points today. The first one is uh, the dangers of abusing your temple. My what are the dangers? There's Lord, dangers of abusing your temple. Abusing your temple will keep you from growing spiritually. Let's look at it. Verse 12. And Jesus went into the temple of God and cast out all them that sold and bought in the temple and overthrew. Overthrew. It, it, it says he overthrew. Jesus, he knocked over the tables. The Greek word for overthrew is katastrepho. K-A-T-A-S-T-R-E-P-H-O. Katastrepho. And that means to overturn. Right. Now it has the that Greek word has the same meaning as a farmer or a gardener that overturns a soil with a plow. And I don't know if we have any any uh, any gardeners in here. Amen. But I'm not much of a gardener or, or a farmer at that. But I do know that what the term overturning means. Overturning uh, your soil Come means on. you mix the, the nutrients and make the ground more suitable for for for, uh, for planting. So so. So with, with the plow or when, when the ground is, is shoved and, and, and the hard surface is overturned, it's the gardener, first of all, that does the work yes. and, and gets to the root of the problem. There's, there's some things on the inside of us that, 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 that we need the, the, the Lord to get to the root of the problem, to need to break the ground surface. We, we, we're hope, some of us are just so hard-hearted and, and, and we, we, we have this wall up, but, but it takes Jesus to get through that hard ground and overturn that hardness of our heart and, 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 and over, overturn it. That's what Jesus does. Some of us are so hard-hearted on the inside, so stubborn, so lustful, so sneaky. Some of us are so mean and greedy and selfish and unfaithful and, 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 and all of it. Some of us have so much trash that has built up from the past from, from what people done to us years ago. We still haven't forgiven them. What people have said to us and, and have, have, have hurt us so bad, all of this trash that does build up so we're, we're holding some grudges and chips on our soul or on our shoulders and some of us go to bed angry wake up with uh wake up with, and, and with the nerve to come to church with an ad, attitude and a problem you sit through service dry don't smile and, and, and all this garbage we're holding on to but we need jesus to shovel it up and overturn it Again, turning over the soil means mixing the nutrients and yes. planting ground yes. that's more suitable yes. for planting. Yes. Uh, Jesus re always replaces something. Yes, he yes. does. One, once, once he digs it up, he plants joy where there was once pain. He plants happiness where there was once sorrow. Uh, forgiveness where there was once bitterness. And love where there was once hate. Help where there was once sickness. Smiles where there was once tears of, of sadness. Tears for years. And, Patience where we were once yes, nervous. Lord. This is why we need the power of Jesus Christ. Yes, Without him, we can do nothing. Not John 15 and 5, Jesus said, I am, I am the vine, and, and ye are the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him shall bring forth much fruit. Yes. Uh, for without me, you can do nothing. nothing. You can do nothing. Now, now. But, 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 but a, a good part about that is with him, we can do everything. Uh -huh. yeah. Come on, somebody. Philippians right. 4 and 13 says, I can do all. of his might because our temple is for God, for the spirit to dwell. Your physical body is a temple of the Holy yes, Spirit is. who is within you. The indwelling refers to a personal relationship with the Holy yes, Spirit. Lord, you, you've seen Lord. some people with, with spirits walking around. Cause my, my, my children always see people walking around, you know, uh, uh, intoxicated or whatever the issue is, or high or strung out on something. And, and they say, Daddy, why is he talking to himself? He's not talking to himself. He's talking to somebody, but he's not talking to himself. All of these, these spirits that are out there. Verse 13. Uh, so back to verse 12. So he overthrew the tables of the money changers and the seats of them that sold doves. And verse 13 says, And he said unto them, It is written, 
my house shall be called the house of 